Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so, so glad you're back. Um, I committed to posting on Wednesdays and Fridays and I needed something to post today. So I did a bit of a vlog. It's a compilation of my day yesterday and my day today. So it's a bit all over the place, but I still hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> So, starting off yesterday, I went to the pool with my siblings. It was kind of like the first thing that I've done since finishing school that's not in my house or in my bedroom. So that was pretty fun. I wore this cute swimsuit from ASOS that y'all will see. It was like a pink um, bikini, but the bottom was high-waisted. Super cute. Um, and y'all, I don't really wear two-piece bathing suits often because you're girls, it's a cur. It's a cur. But um, it was kind of like a little leap of faith for me to do that. Granted, there was no one at the pool. So <laughs> it wasn't that deep, but um, that was fun. It took me a long time to get in the pool though, cause your girl was cold, but I did end up um, getting in the pool. And so I'll show you that. And like, I'll just insert the vlog here of me at the pool. Okay y'all, uh, sorry for this bad angle. Right now I'm walking to the pool with my siblings. Um, it's like the first, oh my goodness, creepy man. Anyway, <laughs> it's like the first like summery day in Georgia. Um, like it's like 95 and it was just storming. I don't know the weather's a bit off But I'm going to the pool and y'all know me. I don't really be getting in the pool like that But I look cute today. My name is Bucket Hat and I'll try to show you my swimsuit later Anyways, I'm going to the pool. My siblings are super excited. I'm also excited because I really like summer Mainly because of like seasonal depression issues and so when the Sun is out my personality is then out Okay, now I'm being looked at weird because I'm talking to a camera. Bye so y'all, I've arrived at the pool and lucky for us, there's no one in here. So the chances of me entering the pool have actually now doubled. My sister wants to show y'all her handstand. So, wow, okay, Miss Synchronized Swimmer. Go on and show them. <laughs> Meanwhile, my brother just got into the water. Is it cold? Yeah, go down there, go down there, go down there. Is it cold? He said I shouldn't put him in the vlog. So why would uh, we've been here for like 45 minutes and I have yet to enter the pool. There's some random white lady. Okay, we've been in the pool for like 30 minutes and I've yet, we've been around the pool for like 30 minutes and I've yet to enter the water. But I'm gonna get in, I am. So then we come to today. So I saw this TikTok and it was recommending this restaurant to try in Atlanta, specifically in Norcross. And so I decided to try that today with my mom and my sister and it was super good. And so I'll insert that portion of the vlog here. I, hey guys, okay, so this is the next day. I'm currently waiting for my mom to finish taking my sister to the doctor. She has an appointment. But then after that, I'm super excited for where we're gonna go eat. Um, I saw the recommendation on TikTok. It was like places to eat in Atlanta. There's places specifically in Norcross. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be like a Dominican Japanese fusion restaurant. And it looked really good based on the TikTok that I saw. I'll enter that here. Hey Atlanta foodies, look at this crazy Japanese Dominican fusion of Latin sushi at Boga Latin Cuisine. This was our first time trying it and I think one of the only places in Atlanta you can actually get it. These rolls are loaded with chicharron, fried chicken, avocado, and sweet plantains, which are platanos. That's why these types of rolls are called sushi a platanao. Tag a friend who would love this crazy combo and follow us for more hidden gems. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully it's good. My mom will also be trying it. She's not really a sushi sushi eater, but she does d dibble dabble. So her opinion will be like from someone who's not that into sushi. In my opinion, will be someone who's like obsessed with sushi. So we'll see. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll see you guys there.
So they started us off with some chips and salsa, which honestly, guys, it was so amazing. I think there's me and my mom like taking from it in this video. It was so good, as you can see from me in this video. Then I ordered a strawberry mojito, which was also really good. Um, that's more chips and salsa because we really liked it. Next, we got some fried calamari. And honestly, y'all, it slapped. Like it was so good and they had these like cute little mini forks and the sauces on the side were amazing too. Like so good guys. Um, 10 out of 10, my family said. Next, um, my sister, she got buffalo wings instead of the sushi there because she doesn't really eat sushi. And in case you needed further proof that we liked it, we loved it y'all. Okay y'all, so while we're waiting for the sushi to come out, um, as y'all seen, we finished like our appetizer. So we have chips and salsa and fried calamari. Both me and my mom give it 10 out of 10. My sister too, 10 out of 10 stars. And she hadn't tried fried calamari before and she liked it, as well as the sauces that they had. So it's looking good so far, y'all. And also her meal that she's eating the wings, she also gives it a 10 out of 10 stars. So, so far so good and very hospitable. So then our sushi finally came out and my mom got the lapela roll, which is described as a seafood mix with um, shrimp tempura, Philadelphia cheese, sweet plantain, avocado, all of the rest. And then I got two things, but my first roll here is a California roll. It's so like the regular California roll. And it looked really good, guys. Honestly, the presentation, five out of five stars. Okay, so this is a California roll. It's super good so far. As you can see, I've already done like half the roll. My chopstick skills aren't the best, y'all. Don't judge me. So the second roll that I ordered is known as the La Chapi roll. She said it's the most ordered thing at the restaurant and it had pork, chicken, Philadelphia cheese, and sweet plantain. Okay, once again, guys, please don't judge my chopstick skills, but now I'll be trying the La Chapi roll. And so it has like pork and plantains. And so I hope it's good. This is my first um, impression. I'm trying to take this one from here. I'm gonna try first without soy sauce. Okay, y'all, I promise it wasn't bad, like my face might be implying. It was just a different taste. You know, I think what I noticed is that my mom, who's not like an avid sushi eater like myself, enjoyed it a lot more. And I think it's because in my head, I was preparing for it to taste a certain way and it didn't taste that way. But it's not bad, y'all. It isn't. Okay, y'all, I forgot to ask my mom her final thoughts. And even though she doesn't want her face in the vlog, um, I'm just going to ask her here. She's like right in front of me on what her final thoughts of like the restaurant were. So what did you think? I mm -hmm. like the ambiance. I like the food. The food tastes good. Calamari was the bomb. Chef's kiss, y'all. Yes. And um, I like the sushi. It had an interesting twist to it. I didn't eat it like sushi, though. I ate it with pork and rice. <laughs> she did. So, um, I wouldn't say it tastes so much like sushi, but it was good. Yeah, I definitely agree, for sure. So that's about it, y'all. I told you guys this vlog was all over the place. Wasn't really cohesive, but I promise you the videos will just keep on getting better and better. I'll see you next Wednesday. I really do hope you enjoyed. Bye. Love you already.